I have the feeling that these bunnies are friendlier. Oh no, 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 no. I'm no expert on this. At least I think I can hold them the way that they are supposed to be held. We're going to try to grab something. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to a bunny cafe. Yes, you heard that well, a bunny cafe. We went last week to a cat cafe, but this week we're going to a bunny cafe. It is the first one in Europe, actually. I know that they're in other countries, but not in Europe. And we're going to go to the first bunny cafe in Europe. It is located in the very center of Krakow. So we're heading there right now. You can see here that I found a trampoline there. I was not sure it was going to hold me, but I'm not that heavy. And let's go. And there are 16 bunnies and we can give them food but it's necessary to put this protector because of course shoes could be dirty so i hope that the microphone is not so close to my mouth but i cannot speak too loud because that's one of the first rules of this place that you cannot make loud noises because that would scare the bunnies here we have the first one <laughs> and as you can see it's big but it looks fluffy white and honestly tired or sleepy i'm not sure <laughs> but we're going to try to feed him and we're going to see if he accepts the treat i'm not going to bother him because he's sleeping but we're going to try to do it with this one right here so this one is awake we're going to try to feed him right now let's see if he accepts it and he did now i'm going to try to pet him <laughs> and i can tell you that they're really fluffy <laughs> it is funny for me how comfortable he is let's try to give him a bit more he clearly wants to hello my little friend i wonder if you have a name and there you go You see, they have their own beds right here. They have some kind of tunnels that they can use to play. They've got lots of food everywhere. And he or she just woke up. I'm not really sure what they are, but we're going to try to feed him or her. And he did take it from my hand. It was strange because he didn't take it from Ola's hand. I don't know why. And there you go. It is also very important to not feed them with other types of food that are not meant for bunnies. And there is actually another space in which there are doors because I have the feeling that these bunnies are friendlier. Oh no, 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 he's sitting the cable. He was about to eat the cable. I'm so sorry, my friend. They are definitely friendlier than the other ones because they approach to you once you cross. Maybe <laughs> because they like eating more. Look, look at them. I read online before coming here that they, they can eat as much greens as they want. They can eat a lot of vegetables such as carrots because, I mean, of course they can, but in, in a limited amount. But yeah, they have just a specific amount to be fed every day because otherwise imagine they would be eating all day long and they would be super fat tell me would you come to this cafe in krakow it is also important you cannot pick them up they can just be around they can approach to you you can pet them you can play with them you can feed them but they cannot be picked up It was nice, but we didn't drink or eat anything there. We're heading now to a Japanese restaurant because we're going to see if it's possible to eat some ramen. I'm almost sure that you need a reservation there, so we're going to see. And this is how you order ramen. You have to you have to select what type of noodles you want. I selected the handmade noodles. You have to select what type of meat you want. I want with pork. You also have to select what type of flavor you want. And I want the classic one, the one that it says that it's been boiling for eight hours. And finally, if you want it a spicy or not, I rather not spicy and later I can add if I want to. And the ramen has arrived. It looks fantastic. All right, and now it's time to try the ramen. Ramen, ramen, I don't know because I speak Spanish. Ramen, si, ramen. I have no idea. Oh my God, 
amazing. I love it. I'm in love. Every, I'm in love with food in general. But this is just fantastic. <laughs> you have got to go for a ramen today if you're watching this video. I'm no expert on this. At least I think I can hold them the way that they are supposed to be held. But we're going to try to grab something because let's see. Jose, can you? Well, it seems like I can. And we're going for the second round. Dragon sushi, that's how it's called. We're going to go for it. I don't even know how to eat this. This is a uh, salmon tatar and I'm going to grab a bit of this and maybe a bit of this. Honestly, I don't know how to eat this, but we're going to see. Delicious. The sushi was so good. The service was friendly. I strongly recommend Orara Sushi if you're around Krakow and you would like to try some tasty sushi. I just would recommend you to make a reservation. We were lucky we didn't have a reservation but we found a place in the bar. And about the bunny cafe, I think it's an acceptable experience to feed the bunnies, to pet them, you can take pictures with them and everything. I cannot tell you anything about the food because we didn't try anything there as we were hungrier and then we decided to go to another place. And if you would like to have a different experience, if you would like to visit a different place in Krakow, I think that Vani Cafe, the first one in Europe, it's a great place to go. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure you hit the like button, you subscribe and I'll see you on the next adventure.